Hmm? Nice Thank you. <laughs> Appreciate you, bro. What a nice gentleman. Helping me out. Keeping an eye out for the popo. I may work at a federal facility, but I still got to keep the cops out of sight. Is this just not going to open for me? <laughs> All right, fine. We're doing this the hard way. <laughs> now it opens for me. So this is the CF Moto 450 SS. <sighs> For those that are wondering, last time I posted my only other video on the channel, I had my brand new, pretty much, 2021 ZX6R. Uh, well, shortly after I posted that video, my bike got stolen. So uh, yeah, we've been without a bike for a very long time. Uh, I'm also saving for a house, so I thought it wouldn't be very good to spend money on a motorcycle right now. Luckily, my girlfriend came in clutch. Uh, so this is actually her bike. She's kind of asking me to uh, try to break it in for her. So I've been taking it to and from work starting today. So we're going to try to keep those revs right there in the middle. Uh, so no crazy uh, Jixxer bra style riding today, but it'll still be good. I can give you some uh, some early impressions on this brand new bike to the U.S. market. It's pretty sweet, man. Just the level of features that this bike has for uh, for the class that it's in. You know, it's it's a 400 class motorcycle, but it has all of the gadgets and doodads of a freaking leader bike like I've, I've grown fond of calling this bike the baby s1000 because it's got so many freaking features man it's so great it's got a really satisfying level of power without being too much um, and it's really I have almost nothing to complain about it have almost nothing to complain about and I do say almost because there's a few things that could have been done better in my opinion that grind my gears just a little bit um, but it doesn't it's not a deal breaker for me so let me just go ahead and start with the things that I love about this bike first of all the thing that really matters most in a motorcycle how does it look? This thing looks so fucking gorgeous, dude. For like easily my favorite, most attractive 400 series uh, super sport on the market. In my opinion, again, uh, it's got freaking winglets. It's got some carbon fiber looking stuff. It is so gorgeous. It's got a really cool, uh, light up sequence superhero landing type deal as soon as you turn it on it's like i'm here let's go tear some shit up with my little 450 cc engine um do i even have to mention the dash dude find me one other bike with a dash like this with this little this little display right here find me another 400 cc bike that's got a display this nice Find me another 400cc bike that can connect to your phone, that has GPS from the factory. That can tell you when someone's touching your bike. That can shoot your phone a notification anytime it leaves a geofence. Like, no one is doing that. At least not to my knowledge. And if they are doing that, kudos to them, everyone should be. Now, as far as I know, for these little sport bikes, they make the 450 and they make the 300. Uh, my girlfriend's only ever ridden mini bikes, uh, and so she's kind of wanted to step up. I thought a good bike to grow into would be the 450, so that's what we got. That's what she got. Um, and it's been doing good so far. 
She hasn't even ridden it yet. I think she's a little bit scared, but she's gonna get over that real quick. Now, one thing I will say, and this could have just been because I was wearing a tinted visor at the time, uh, the lights, although they look really cool, uh, I couldn't really see very well this morning in the in the pitch black dark of the early morning hours. Um, even with my brights on, I was kind of like, wow, I, I could just run over something in the middle of the road and have no idea what's coming because the lights leave a little bit to be desired. Um, one more thing that's kind of a it's kind of bittersweet it's a really cool idea that they added but I feel like the execution could have been done a little better was the GPS this thing uh, this little display the computer can connect to your phone and displays your GPS right here like on the screen I tried that this morning as well um, and it only works if you use their app like they have an app that lets you go through all the different functions of your bike to do like inspections on it you can do the GPS tracker see where it's at on the map uh, and you can also run GPS to your bike like directions to your bike from that app um, the only problem really is that it's not very intuitive I might just be spoiled from you know Apple Maps Google Maps but uh, it doesn't actually show you where you are on the map on the screen it just says right turn and you know 20 miles or whatever and then whenever you get too close it gives you the direction in inches it's like hey your right turn is coming up in 12,467 inches <laughs> it's kind of hard to do the conversion uh, on the fly like that especially if you're you know not used to the area or you don't really know where you are luckily I know how to get to work um, I was just trying out the, the feature this morning but I feel like if they integrated a way for you to just run Google Maps or Apple Maps, kind of like uh, kind of like CarPlay does it, where it shows you the app on the screen, that would be unreal. Um, but maybe I'm asking for too much. I mean, this is like a, if you get it from a dealership brand new, you'll probably walk out the door at six thousand, sixty-five hundred dollars. Um, so I mean, it's not at that price point. I'm lucky to get a GPS at all, <laughs> but uh, you leave me to be uh, nitpicky. Leave it to me. But as far as like a daily rider, I could easily see this thing being like a daily rider, like your only mode of transportation. Um, except for when it rains, you know, typical motorcycle stuff, motorcycle hindrances. But. It's so comfortable, the seating position isn't too aggressive. Um, although, I am used to just riding 600cc super sports, so maybe I'm just not used to anything that's not <laughs> practically crouched on the bike at all times. Uh, but I think it's comfortable. I think it's great. You know, it's a, it's a little windy today. I'm certain you can tell by the way the microphone is picking it up. Uh, but it feels really solid, you know? I can one-hand it. I'm not getting blown all over the place. I remember with my R3, that was kind of a, kind of an issue. If I was going above, you know, 60 miles an hour and a strong gust came over, I was having to fight it. Uh, so this bike handles the wind really well. Not really that bad. Uh, one, like, potentially catastrophic failure for the bike uh, that my girlfriend brought up. She saw some people bring it up. Is that... The swing arm on this bike does not look very, very well made. It's uh, it's like two pieces of metal that are welded together, and they're not even. They're kind of like overlapping, kind of one's taller than the other, and there's just a weld that doesn't go all the way down the swing arm. It just kind of stops about uh, half an inch, quarter inch from the end. And you know, maybe that's for a purpose, but. It definitely doesn't look, it doesn't bring confidence when you look at it. But, I don't know, they've been selling these things like crazy. I feel like if that was a real issue, we would know by now. Um, they'd issue like a recall or tell people to stop buying them. They'd get sued and go out of business, something like that. 
So it's just something to keep an eye on if you're thinking about this bike. If you're willing to take the risk of that potentially being a horrible, horrible thing. Um, I'm willing to take the risk. I don't give a shit, but we'll see. So those are just a few of my thoughts. Do y'all have a CF Moto 450 SS? If you do, drop in the comments what you think about it. And if you're wanting to get one, uh, ask me some questions. I'll try to I'll try to answer them in the next video. This is probably going to be uh, the only bike we have for a little while until I get the house in a few months and then start dropping a shit ton of money. I really want to get an S1000. Really want to get an S1000. Um, S1000 double R. Plus, it would kind of match this bike. They look similar. Um, and so my girlfriend riding this 450, me on the S1000, we'd be we'd be a real cute couple. She wants to take some, uh, all those like super cutesy, uh, like motorcycle couple photos that you see everywhere. So we'll see. Stay tuned. We'll try to we'll try to figure something out like that. I'll let you guys know. Um, for the rest of the video, just enjoy the sounds of the road and me sniffling every now and then. Thank you for watching. Deuces! you enjoyed that's the cf moto 450 ss if y'all stick around i'll see you in the next one or i guess you'll see me fucking kickstand later